Hello, and today's video is going to be a one take video on focus breathing. So, what is focus breathing? Focus breathing is an effect or an after effect of the lens focusing, and how the lens focuses is by moving the glass further away from the camera body. So, what happens is then it gives this um, zooming effect. Now, I said one take, but I'll put a video up to show you that the difference. So when, when I focus on the tree branch, you will see as I focus further in the distance, the size of things and the perspective of things change ever so slightly. And that is what focus breathing is. So how does that affect you as a photographer? So focus breathing doesn't really affect you as a photographer. Um, and I, I completely forgot about it. It wasn't until I'd done a video on mushrooms and a friend had said to me, how did you combat the focus breathing? And I thought to myself, I didn't combat the focus breathing. I didn't do anything to make the focus. I, I, I knew about focus breathing. It was something I'd picked up when I first started photography, what focus breathing was. And, and back then it didn't really seem relevant to me and I kind of just forgot about it. And I think as I started doing focus stacks, that's when he'd noticed that I was doing focus stacks and said to me, you know, about the focus breathing. And I hadn't really thought about it doing the focus stacks. There's a reason for that. And that is because I don't think, and this is just my opinion, that you really need to worry about focus breathing as a photographer. Now, I say that is because taking a single image of something, so say for example, I'm taking a photo of a tree. If I zoom, uh, focus, sorry, uh, on a different location, a different part of the tree, that's gonna make the little bit, uh, make the tree a little bit bigger. On the image but i'm taking a single photo so you're not going to notice it it's still just going to look like a tree the only time you're really going to notice it is when you're doing uh focus stacking so that's when you're stacking multiple images on top of each other at different focal lengths and then what that does is that's each one's going to be a slightly bigger in the frame so as you get to the last one it's going to be a bit bigger than the first one and that's where the problem with focus stacking comes in. Now, the reason I say you don't, as a photographer, really need to worry about it is because software nowadays, Photoshop does a great job of aligning those images. So you just uh, highlight them all as a, uh, all the layers as a, um, as a set, and then you just click on align images, and then it will just take all those perspectives and stuff, and it will just merge it into, not merge it, but it will just make all the images the same. So when you click through them all, they're all of the same perspective. And that's something that Photoshop does a great job of. So I've never really thought about focus, um, focus stacking. Uh, I forget, I remember the words. Um, I, I do know what the words are called. It's, in a, it's an ADHD thing where you just, I, just the names drop out of my head. I, focus stacking and focus, photo stacking. I it's just completely annoys me. Um, so yeah, I, I, I will forget the names of stuff, but I do know what they are. Um, so when you your fo when you do your focus stacking, that's the time you're going to notice it, and Photoshop will eliminate that basically. So let me know in the comments if you know of, or if you feel that you know doing a focus stack and then eliminating that in Photoshop is better than using a focus rail, because I've got I've just bought it actually when um, when he said to me about the focus breathing, and I thought to myself. Does it make a difference? Is it going to make my pictures any better or am I going to have wasted uh, my money on it? So I'm going to do a test on that and I'll probably do that not next video. I'm going to review the focus rail and then the one after that, I will probably do, um, let's say one take, look. the one after that, I will probably do a, um, I will do, oh my God, there was a load of quad bikes behind me. So the one after that, I will do a, comparison of focus stacked images with and without a rail and we'll compare the side to side and see which which ones whether there is any difference at all so that is what focus breathing is in a nutshell i wouldn't worry about it as a photographer and i don't think you really need to worry about it because uh, for the reasons i've said it's it's just something that it's a byproduct of focusing um, so hopefully that video was useful for you. If it was, I uh, really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already just, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, then please do consider subscribing to the page and I will catch you on the next one.